In this video, I'll be using an example to explain the difference between elapsed time versus duration versus effort. So let's have a look at a few definitions. So our elapsed time is your calendar days, which includes your weekends and public holidays. Our duration is the amount of time required to complete a task that can be hours, days or week. So we've got a task that's going to take five working days to complete. That's our duration. Now our units is a number of resources assigned to a task that can be people, equipment or material. So we've got two resources assigned to a task. Resource one working eight hours per day and resource two working eight hours per day. Then lastly, our work, which is the same as your effort. And that is amount of effort required to complete a task that can be hours or days. So again, we've got two resources now. Let's calculate the work or effort. Now our work equals duration times your resource units. So resource one works eight hours per day for five days. That's 40 hours. And resource two work eight hours per day, five working days. It's 40 hours with a total of 80 hours. So our work or effort is 80 hours. Now let's have a look at our example. So we've got two tasks, task A and task B. Task A, the duration is five days and task B, the duration is six days. So our total duration is 11 working days. So let's calculate our elapsed time. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a Saturday and Sunday. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and also includes our second Saturday and Sunday. So our elapsed time is 15 calendar days. Now let's have a look at our work. So in task one, we've got one resource assigned working eight hours per day. So it's 40 hours. Task B, we've got one resource also working eight hours per day. So it's eight times six, it's 48 hours. So it's 40 plus 48 is 88 hours is our work or effort in our example. I hope this video gives you a better understanding of elapsed time, duration, and effort or work. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, or you can subscribe to my channel for more project management related videos.